All right, welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. Today we're gonna to be doing just a quick overview on how to use Canva. This will be a quick overview for the end of 2023 and going into 2024. Let's dive in. So we're gonna be taking a look at just overall who uses Canva? What is it for? What can you do with Canva? So in a nutshell, Canva is a graphic design uh, replacement for uh, Photoshop, especially for people that don't want to deal with learning Photoshop and other heavy uh, tools, uh, artistic tools, right? That require either you taking a course or a lot of hours upon hours of work inside of the application in order to start understanding it, because although Photoshop and other tools like that, Adobe Illustrator, et cetera, et cetera, are very powerful tools and for the highest level of professional art design or graphic design, you definitely would be using those tools. But for most people that just need some social media graphics, that just need a YouTube uh, video, a thumbnail created, that just need some, you know, Instagram post uh, creations or, I mean, uh, graphics, you know, uh, you've got Facebook posts right over here, you've got whiteboard, you've got documents, you've got logos, you can create pretty much anything under the sun when it comes to graphic design or art that you need inside of Canva. So um, I believe that the difference uh, between Canva or using Photoshop or something like that is just that Canva appeals to everybody, anybody uh, that knows knows any any nothing about art, right? You don't have to be an artist in order to use Canva. And so this is for everybody. And this is so that you can get something done using their templates and so forth. It's very, very intuitive, very easy to do um, some very high level professional things. And you don't have to be an art whiz or a Photoshop whiz in order to do it. So that in a nutshell. So I want to show you around right when you log in, you'll see that this is my team over here. I used to have four people on my team right now. I'm just solo but I've hired people, it's really cool. You can actually add team members and they can come in and then you guys can actually create folders uh, where we'd come in here and I used to run Etsy uh, stores and you would see all these different things over here, uh, creating coloring book uh, graphics over here. So like right over here, we would um, create these for Teachers Pay Teachers and Etsy and so forth. And we'd have all these different graphics and we'd be able to turn them into the right size. So you can see all these different ones right over here that we had all these different coloring books that we created um, and we would use these for the mock-ups, right? To put on in our Etsy stores and so forth. So really cool, like you can um, go in and anytime, if you need a specific design size, you just come into a custom size and you would just go in here. If you need 3000 by 3000, you would just put that in and then it's going to create a new window and you're gonna have a 3000 by 3000 graphic. Now Canva is going to automatically um, suggest templates for you based on uh, a general box um, or one by one design, which Instagram is a popular uh, social media platform that uses the one by one. And so it's going to kind of go for a graphic that it thinks that you're going to be putting on a platform like that, which would be something like this, right? Like an Instagram post or something like that. You just push the plus button. And maybe this is for episode one of a podcast, right? And then let's say you come down here and you have a picture of yourself. Uh, we'd come over here. I have different folders. You can organize everything really nicely organized and so forth. You could go in here and grab a picture of yourself right over here and you could just drag it in right here and replace right here what's going on in the um, inside this box right here, right? And you could do all kinds of different stuff. If this, uh, you just, you, quickly come up here and you could change this to episode five, right? And then you could change the text right over here and just say healing uh, 101. Maybe that's the name of your podcast. Maybe you don't like the colors and you would come over here and you would change the colors to something uh, different, right? So maybe it's blue and then we could change the, gra the graphics back here to make it a different color as well. There's all kinds of different things that you can do with this and make changes very, very easily. Um, and then once you get a concept down, you can duplicate this and make slight changes. Then you could go and send that off to people and see which one they like the best by just changing one simple thing out, whether it's the, um, the font that you're using, the size of the text, the colors, um, the image that you put in here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you could also go and just add another page right here. And then you can go back over here at any time and go right back up to designs. Um, and you can go into, um, 
push this arrow back over here. We can go and look at more templates in here. Um, it's giving you different either logos or um, graphic designs for like social media and so forth, right? Because those are one by one types. You can also go to style over here, you can change different color palettes and so forth. So really, really easy. We'll go back over here to the dashboard. So that just shows you like one of the ways that I use this um, as far as like a folder and managing a team. Here was another one with Teachers Pay Teachers. We had all kinds of graphic designs in here. For example, here is a flower coloring uh, page for TPT, Teachers Pay Teachers, where you sell digital art. Um, if you guys want more uh, videos on how I actually make money selling this digital art on different platforms like Etsy and Teachers Pay Teachers, then just let me know in the comments below. Yes. Uh, show us how to make money using Canva because uh, I've created all these different artwork and look at each one of these, right? I can move this around right here, but I actually created this template right in here um, so that I could go and actually put this on um, Teachers Pay Teachers and I can sell this design right over here. Um, so these are all the coloring pages that they would get if they actually bought the product. Uh, but but you need a mock-up, right? You So Canva's really good for creating mock-ups as well. But uh, Canva's also really good at creating coloring pages, right? We can come over here. Let's even see if they have something for coloring pages. But you can see all the different things right over here. Before I go and show you that, let me show you one more thing. Back one of my uh, uh, other U earliest YouTube channels, we have over here, we have all these different thumbnails, YouTube thumbnails that I created throughout the last few years of my business, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go over here and just go back to home and then we're gonna say coloring. So let's see if we have some coloring. I have a lot of different projects in here. I'm gonna go to templates. Christmas is color coming up, so I'm gonna say Christmas coloring right over here. So we have all these Christmas coloring templates that we could come over here and look at, right? So you wanna, if you're gonna use one of these templates right over here, you're going to definitely wanna always go and check. Um, this one is obviously pro right over here but you're going to want to click it, open it up, and then see what the license is if you're able to actually use this. But this is combining elements that are inside of Canva. So you could use this as is, but it's always best to change things out. So for example, if I came in here and we grabbed, um, so like this element right here, we move this element out of the way, but then we change some of these um, out right here, remove those, and then go over here to elements and just say um, Christmas decorations right over here. And you could go with black and white. So I'm going to go with graphics over here and go to um, select black and white. And then when you find something like, let's say this candy cane right over here, you could actually uh, throw this one in here you can go and put a highlight around this, make this black and white. Not gonna show you how to do that in this um, right here, but you can change the graphics out. That way you make this your own um, and you can make a coloring page out of that. But even better, you can just add a page over here and then you could actually uh, start going and grabbing uh, different things to put on the page. Like you've got a big giant present right here. If you're making an elementary coloring page, you could have a present right there and maybe a tree. Um, you'd want to make uh, sure that the tree is, has a black border around it. Like this tree right over here would be perfect as well. So you can just easily create pages right here. Um, and then you could also add some text right over here. So we go with text, we add the text over here. We move the text up. We make it a little bit bigger. Maybe we say tree, we make this bigger right here. You change the font to something else or you just leave it. But you can highlight that and you can go to an effects over here. You can go highlight. We can make the outline black and then the um, color of it can actually be white. So then we come over here and now you have text that is now ready to be colored in by students and you can easily create um, Christmas page uh, coloring pages for kids and you can go and sell those on different platforms as well. So um, we could just stay here for hours and hours, but uh, we'll just keep moving forward on what we want to be looking at. All right, so let's just keep moving forward. Some other things, uh, really common things that we like to use Canva for. You might uh, have a YouTube channel like I have. Um, I have several YouTube channels. This one I'm focusing on right now because I really enjoy using Canva and I use it on a daily basis. So I figured why not start creating some tutorial videos for you all um, in order to help you out if you're new to Canva. But we can come in here 
and quickly create um, easy uh, thumbnails. Like I have a make money online channel. So we could we could literally um, go as easy as make money online. And then you could grab this copy control copy control V right over here. And then right over here, we would just say uh, 2023. It's almost 2024. But we're going to stick with because it's still 2023. So we'll come through here. We'll grab that. And you could put this anywhere you could get rid of this little thing right here that it has and then you could grab this drop it right under there boom if you wanted to add a person right over here but you didn't uh, want to put yourself then you could easily do that as well by just coming up to elements over here um, you could type in uh, man and just go like that and go to you can either go to graphics um, put a cartoonish type uh, character there or you could go to photos right over here and you can just grab someone so I could grab this right here it's already cut out but we can use the background remover if we needed to. And what is wrong with our guy? He's pointing the wrong direction. Well, guess what? We can easily fix that by just coming over here to flip and then flip him horizontally and then move him over like so. And now we have this guy and then now we go to put position forward right here. So then, and, and if we wanted to, we could select all these at the same time and then we could use the arrow keys and just move this over or you can use um, kind of move everything over with your mouse, uh, just like that. So you can quickly create, um, you know, you can just see how easy this is. Look at, we have all these cutouts that are already done, but if you click on something like this, all you have to do is just go over here to edit photo and then background remover, and it will just keep the guy right there. So you virtually, um, have unlimited, um, uh, amounts of people that you can use, um, in your YouTube um, thumbnails. So I use it for YouTube thumbnails a lot, right? But then you can come over here. They even have video, not even to get into video. You can create videos, TikTok uh, videos, YouTube shorts videos, promotion videos inside of Canva. You can do so much. And I'm not even, um, this is not even the um, tipping off point of what you can actually do with Canva. These are all the basic um, things that, you know, I do on a daily basis with Canva, uh, which is also logo design. We do logos design in here with Canva as well. But now you can do full documents. You can do whiteboarding right over here. You can do pow like PowerPoint uh, style presentations and record yourself giving the presentation and share that presentation with others. Uh, you can create planners in here and journals and Instagram reels, Facebook covers, um, you know, mock-ups and t-shirts and so forth. So, um, you know, if you're starting a YouTube channel, um, you can create all the artwork that you need, which is, that is the logo. That is the YouTube banner right here. And then also your YouTube video thumbnails in here as well. You can also use this for blogging. If you have a website blog banner, you click over here and you have a blog banner and you want to, um, you can come in here and use the elements that they have in here. And, you know, there's millions of mil upon millions of images in here that you can just say mount mountains, right? So maybe you want photos of mountains and you come in here and you just grab something like this. And um, a lot of times I like to actually just drag it to the it's kind of a trick is dragging it to the top left corner and then it will end up just automatically resizing sizing itself. Then you can come over to text and grab something that looks pretty cool. Let's just grab this first one for now. And then let's just say that this is the title of your blog post. And we just want to go like this, something like that, right? Um, and then we want this to pop a little bit, right? So then you can go over here to elements and go back over here. Um, you'll want to X out of your search results right there. And then you want to just click on shapes. And then you come over here and just drag this over like so. And then you can change the color to something, um, something else that may, maybe it matches um, with what you're kind of going for. So maybe something like that. And then you can go up here and you could bet you could even mess with the transparency if you wanted to, right? So it just has a little bit of something going on right there to make it pop a little bit more. So many things that you can do so quickly in Canva. So that is in a nutshell how to use Canva, a quick overview. Um, hopefully that kind of gets your brain, uh, you know, thinking of w different ways that you can use Canva in your business. Um, if you're ever kind of in doubt or wondering, hey, what can I do in Canva? Just always log into Canva right over here 
and uh, go through all these different suggestions at the top line are going to be probably the most common. You can build your resume in here and make it really fancy. Like I said, presentations in here, Instagram stories. So you can use this for social media. You can use this for YouTube channels. You can use this for blogging. You can use this for your small business, your brick and mortar store um, to do uh, flyers about an event that's coming up that you want to hand out um, to people. There's so many things that you can do. You can build your business uh, cards in here. You can even create water bottles and different items for your business. And then you can print those um, and they'll, um, and Canva makes it easy for you to, um, they'll use a third party uh, place to get this stuff printed on your um, items for your business. And then they'll ship them right to you and you can pay inside of Canva. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. And I didn't even tip the surface on talking about uh, video with Canva or how to use AI, but you definitely want to subscribe to this channel because I'll be showing you how to do all those things, um, how to use the AI features, how to create AI, AI images in Canva, how to create videos, how to use this for social media and so forth. And then finally, how to use Canva's power to start making money um, online as well. So definitely, you don't want to miss that out. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Hopefully, this uh, video brought value to you, and I'll see you in the next video.